Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I want to talk about workspaces in Obsidian. But before I get into the video, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel out and I really appreciate it. Now, workspaces is a way to save the state of your, your panels and the layout within Obsidian. Now, if you have not dealt with workspaces here, you may find yourself either working in this kind of simplistic way where you have your left hand pane with the file explorer and then on the right you have your backlinks. And then in this center area here, you create your new notes and you work on your notes um, in this way. But there's also a way to save um, say more optimal context when you need to switch to a different um, use case or context. So if you need to switch say to a project, um, maybe you're working on a research project, there are specific documents that when you switch your brain over to that context, those documents um, are the ones that you're always going to need to open up and have laid out in a specific way. What you can do here is with workspaces, you can save those layouts so that you can quickly get to them at a moment's notice. So I have this project one, let's load that in. And this takes into context the that research type scenario where you, you may need some documents open right away so that you can start reading something and maybe one of these documents is used where you're, you're writing, um, you're, you're putting your content in and you're writing the document out, but you, all of the relevant other documents that you're going to need at that moment are available to you. They're also open. And you can see how workspaces makes the context switching and getting your your mind in a specific frame where you're not distracted by a bunch of other things and you don't have to go through the process of moving files and organizing them in a certain way that that gets you to this particular state the saved workspace uh, does it all for you now, if we want to switch, say, from this particular context or this workspace and start working on my the daily tasks, you know, I have a another view or workspace here that's more suited to um, documenting my tasks. I can see the, the calendar is readily available here for me, any starred um, documents that I might need are available to me as well and the file explorer here is moved before so we can see how the entire workspace changed to be more suited for what I want to do in that moment and then once I'm done with um, switching from say that re research context or the task management context I can easily switch back to my default state or view and I can easily save the default view in a workspace so I can quickly get back to it when I don't need the distractions of all the other elements within my view. So I hope this here was helpful um, giving you some perspective on how you can actually use workspaces within Obsidian to be more efficient in your work, your daily workflow. And if this information was helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.